welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Go on, my people. Hope everybody know okay. Hope everybody know all right. Knowing that your success is based entirely on your attitude, your commitment, and your self-discipline. A great attitude becomes a great day, which becomes a great month, which becomes a great year, which becomes a great life. Pick up everybody who will live to yet another Monday. Stop what you're doing and just say, thank God I find myself alive. Every day above ground is a blessing. How awesome it is to be amongst the living and not amongst the dead. People, holy passing thing I got along in the news. Yes, the people them not here. All me tell them say, don't go on the river. Them still have a river state there. Baby got a river and dead. Police slap on this one here. Gunman slap that that one there. Don't need to worry. Me I put it together in a one little package and I couldn't know exactly what I go on. But I can start with this little update here because the people them been asking about it. The woman who was listed as a person of interest in connection with Friday's major gun and ammo fine at a warehouse on industrial terrace in Kingston has reportedly made contact with the police. Our news team was informed that arrangements are being made for the woman to meet with investigators. However, no date or time has been disclosed. Well on the people, she all the police them ransom. 21 firearms were seized during Friday's operation. Three guns were found in a box that was destined for Moko Clarendon. Why they never make the box go on up a Moko, man? Why them never make the box go on up a Moko so good they go slap with some people? Police, you know so they not learn. Oh no, nah, I learned. More than 1,000 rounds of ammo and 3 pounds of ganja were also found. Well, and now people are coming the and them ends it. Let me give you some Central Kingston news now. Meanwhile, several persons were taken in custody on Friday in connection with the siege of a firearm in Kingston Central Police Division. The police say a raid was conducted on Prince of Wales Street. A Glock 9mm pistol with a magazine containing several rounds of ammo and a single shotgun cartridge was seized. So why the police them are slapping some of them, my boy? Why you never slap them on our waist time, but on our carry them in, carry them in, go over. Sick and tired of that now. Every single day, you pick them up, but on our carry them behind bars, go eat three square meals a day and live scratch free. No, 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 no. Full time, we start putting them under dirt. So, people, guess who about a road they see that tell the people them? What whole heap of nonsense? Who know who they believe it? No sleepy? Well, that goes up. Secure the force, where I find the guns, and where I lock up the gunman. That is the leg, one leg of the security issue. And after that, we do what we're doing here in Greenwich Park to make it a place where people can earn a decent living and do so safely and without people trying to extort them. Right? There are some of them who are in prison, we want to deal with that. And some are overseas, we can find them. Some of what's happening here in terms of the gun finds is reflecting a new level of cooperation between the security forces and partners. That means between the JDF and the JCF. Me not even going to lie to the people. To a sleepy talk, him talk like he made a get of water. One only for nonsense. What three the hard way now, people? Police kill one, bad man kill one, and one kill themselves. Just listen to what one. Right here now in the news. A man was fatally shot on Saturday during a confrontation with a member of the Joint Anti-Gang Task Force in Montego Bay, St. James. The deceased, yes, remember me telling you, listen, I get the right name and come, come tell you, we just got some woman make one call out to RGD. Yes, man. It won't be for me on Sunday. So don't worry on yourself. Me have the contacts if you don't want the contacts us link me and make no off link. The deceased has been identified as 22 year old Dwayne Orton of Catching Drive in Mount Salem in the parish. The police say a Smith & Wesson 9mm pistol containing a magazine with 14 9mm round was seized. The incident happened at about 5.30pm at a shoes arcade on Arbor Street. The police say the matter has been reported to Indicom. Yes. Big waste of time in the com. I don't know why them love enough of themselves so in a police business. You see, any day, them same gunman family member and friends where them are defend, turn it upon them. Just know the police now go defend them. You understand? They are going to love them for them journey and them sorrow. Anyway, now people are going to Manchester. Remember me telling you, you three days away now this day to now. Police are investigating the murder of a 29-year-old man in Silent River near Christiana on Saturday. Yes, people, me know they never hear about this one. So now me are telling you. Police named the deceased as Brian Thompson, a resident of Silent Hill. A report from the Police Corporate Communication Unit said that at about 9 a.m., 
Thompson was standing along the roadway in his community when he was attacked by a man armed with an handgun. Let me tell you something. Innocent people don't dead like that. Innocent people get caught by the wayside. You understand? One and two stretch shot touch them and them jump out. But you see once you see one man come for one man, I mix him mix up. Said what I said that I mean what I said. And I know me already me now take it back. The government opened fire eating Thompson. The police were alerted and Thompson was rushed. Yes, people. Then take him up and rush him game. Right down on the mago put him down because they say well and they, they never want anybody to stay too long on the road. Cause you know see I sat there that and holy for people are coming from market with them bag and pan. And yes, back to school. Yes, back to school people them. How to try look at school shows. And they sell them as a well and them and we never plan for no school, you know. So we don't have no shows. So I can tell the principal them something right now. They pick the them and come as they are. Yes. Any shows them have and that them are going wear. And those say no, no picnic for no shows. Yes. Me, I tell you that. I don't even have to ask Flavor because she has no sense. And we don't address she yesterday already. Flavor has no sense. The worst minister ever. Yes, she's the worst minister. I don't know why them don't get rid of her. She has some of them almost family. But I'm not going to come for talk about now. Anything the pick them off, parents, send them go to school. Send them go to school. See them way. You understand? But hold on there. Remember me tell you say I trade the hard way. So look upon this now. See baby dead there. Baby dead. Let me tell you what go on now for baby. The Portland police are probably a suspected case of drowning involving a teenager in the river of Somerset Falls, Oak Bay on Saturday. Because when you not here, you not go feel. Me tell you no. Turn on the yard. I go to the river and on the parish. But since you not here, see the now. Police named the deceased as 19-year-old Shivori Ford, a receptionist of a Kingston 13 address. You left eyes the way from Kingston 13. Ghana, hope you gang and join off yourself. Yes, man. Let me tell the people they're going to go now. Police were at about 2 p.m. Ford went into the river to swim with friends. On reaching a section of the water, all hell broke loose. Yes, people, all hell broke loose and Ford got into difficulties. The lifeguard removed Ford's body. From the water where it was taken, taken right down at the mark. Yes, people, them not here. They're not hearing. The people them say when they come at the river, when they're supposed to ask, is it okay for visitors to go in the water? Because the people them know, you know, the people them know when the water I take visitors from when only I take parishini. So if it's not a parishini, don't go in there. Else things are gotten to know. Hold on a bit there now, people. Everywhere Jamaica and they, them get themselves in a trouble. So me I go right over there go go to this a piece of news. And for the people them who ask. No, 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 me not flying. Me taking one of the speedboat, they me understand. Me not to trust the flying thing. Yes, me not trust it because this no flying zone thing and this one bag or something. Me not want to shoot down the plane. But anyway, me can move on with this news. A Jamaica man was remanded in Grenada on Friday after appearing in the magistrate court on drug charges. Make I tell you something. We don't want him back out here. We no want him back out here on a try keep him. Michael Burrell, age 59 year old, a construction worker, has been charged with two counts of trafficking controlled drugs and one count of attempting to export a controlled drug. The police searched Mr. Burrell's house in St. George on Wednesday and found a pound of cocaine valued more than $45,000 and two bottles of air product which tested for cocaine. Mr. Boy was taken to the office of the local shipping agency where a box containing items including spice and season were retrieved and opened in his present. 15 packages of cocaine was reportedly found concealed amongst goods. The cocaine, which weighs 5 pounds, is valued at $233,000. Let me tell you something. Just to the Jamaican government, one favor. Just one favor. Where are they going to slap him with? One, one favor, just slap this boy. Nobody send him back a yard. We don't need him back out here. Just do the do for me. That's all we are begging. 